This is how a hydra feeds. Today, we are going to talk about hydra. The name hydra comes from the mythical many-headed beast, as this organism resembles it in appearance. To observe hydra, I went to a reservoir. Catching hydra is surprisingly simple. First, prepare a ladle. Hydra lives attached to aquatic plants. So I just scooped up some water along with the plants. And then carefully examine the water. Back in the lab with the sample. If you look closely in the water, you'll notice many small organisms moving around. Those are not hydra. They are common water fleas found in fresh water. These water fleas serve as food for hydra. Shortly, I will feed the water flea to the hydra. Now, let's take a look at the hydra. Can you see it? This is hydra. When using a pipette to transfer and observe hydra, you can see its size, which is visible to the naked eye. With a microscope, you can observe it in more detail. This part is not its head but its tentacles, which indeed resemble the mythical monster. Hydra belongs to the Cnidarian group, like jellyfish and sea anemones. Cnidarians have two body forms. Swimming medusa, like jellyfish, or sessile polyps, like sea anemones. Hydra has a sessile polyp form, typically attached to aquatic plants or rocks. In times of danger, Hydra can detach and move to escape. Cnidarians have specialized cells called cnidocytes on their tentacles. From these cnidocytes, harpoon-like structures called nematocysts can be fired to capture prey or protect the body. A sting from a jellyfish is a sting to these cells. Hydra also has cnidocytes on its tentacles. Using its tentacles, Hydra captures its prey and then pulls it into its mouth located in the middle of the tentacles. The food is digested in the gastrovascular cavity and nutrients are absorbed directly through the cavity walls. Any remaining waste is expelled through the same opening as the mouth. Let's observe how Hydra hunts water fleas. First, the water flea is very active. However soon, Hydra catches the water flea with its tentacles in one swift motion. Let's see the hunting scene again. Once caught, Hydra slowly swallows the water flea. The water flea is still alive. Hydra places the water flea in its gastrovascular cavity and secretes digestive enzymes to slowly digest it. The water flea transforms into liquid. Hydra's method of reproduction is also unique. It reproduces asexually by budding. Buds form from the body wall and eventually, they develop into new hydras. Hydra creates new individuals through asexual reproduction by budding every two to three days. Lastly, Hydra exhibits regenerative abilities comparable to planarians. After cutting Hydra into pieces and observing them, you can witness the formation of tentacles in just a day. The other pieces also gradually regenerate and develop into complete organisms. The reason for this powerful regenerative ability is that the Hydra's body is simple, and the body's cells have a high proportion of stem cells. This is the end of the video about Hydra. In the previous video about planarians, I couldn't show you their mouth. But when I offered a water flea to a planarian, you can see its mouth forming like this. If you want to learn more about planarians, please watch this video. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe.